In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at long division. And in this one, uh, the all the examples were in, will involve uh, single-digit divisors. Uh, we're dividing by 6, 4, 7, 5, so one-digit divisors. And so in the first one, when it says uh, divide 72 by 4, so this is how we write it. Uh, we'll put the 72 in here, and we're dividing it by 4, so 4 goes on the left here. And so the first thing you do is you look at the 4 and the first digit and ask yourself how many times evenly, like whole number of multiples of 4, go into 7. And so if you're not sure what that is, uh, write out the first several multiples of 4. They go 4, 8, 12, and counting by 4s, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, etc. So you see the second, the first multiple of 4 is 4, the second multiple is 8. See 7 is smaller than 8, so 4 only goes into 7 one whole time with less than 4 left over. So uh, because uh, the second multiple is bigger than that 7. So it only goes in once, we'll put a 1 up here, and we multiply the 1 by the 4 and put 4 here. And then we subtract the 7 and the 4. So 7 minus 4. You don't have to put the subtraction symbols there. Perhaps some people will show you that. It's not wrong to do that. But in a long division, we're always subtracting. That's why you don't have to write that subtraction symbol. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then we bring this 2 down. So now you ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 32? And so refer back to your multiplication tables or write out the multiples of 4 and so you see okay we're dividing 4 into 32 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's actually a whole multiple okay 32 is the eighth multiple of 4 so 8 times 4 is 32 so 4 goes into 32 8 times so we put 8 here 8 times 4 is 32 and we subtract and get a remainder of 0. Now if the remainder is 0, uh, a lot of times you won't see people actually write remainder 0 here because that if the remainder 0 goes in evenly, but it's not incorrect to write that either. So 72 divided by 4 is 18 with a remainder of 0. In the second one, we're dividing 134 by 6, so 134 goes in here and 6 goes to the left. And so the first thing you do is ask yourself, how many times does 6 go into the 1? So write out the first few multiples of 6. And you see, 6 doesn't go into 1 even once, because 1 is smaller than 6. So, um, so if that's the case, if this number, first number, is smaller than what you're dividing by, then you go to the second digit. So instead of 1, we're dividing 6 into 13 now. So 13 is a little bigger than the second multiple of 6. See, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, etc. So uh, 6 goes into 13 two times because 13 is just one bigger than the second multiple of 6. So we'll put a 2 up here, and 2 times 6 is 12, so we'll put 12 here. And we're going to subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. So now we bring the 4 down. And six, how many times does 6 go into 14? Well, you see 14 is between the second and third multiple. So it goes in 2 times again. So we'll put a 2 up here. 2 times 6 is 12. And we'll subtract. 14 minus 12 is 2. So that's your remainder. So put a remainder of 2 here on the end. So 134 divided by 6 is 22 with a remainder of 2. Lots of 2's in this example. Third example down here, we're dividing 573 by 7. So, uh, again, you ask yourself, how many times does 7 go into 5? And you see the multiple, I wrote the first few multiples of 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, etc. See, 7 doesn't go into 5 even once because 5 is smaller than 7. So then you say, well, next, okay, let's include the 7 here. So it's 57, not just 5. How many times does 7 go into 57? Well, 57 is a lot bigger than 7, so we need several multiples. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 41, 49, see, 56. See, we're dividing 7 into 57. 57 is just one bigger than this multiple. It's actually the eighth multiple. If you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it goes in 8 times. So 8 times 7 is this 56 here. So write 56 here. And 57, we're going to subtract 56 from it, gives you 1. So now we bring the 3 down. 
And so you ask yourself, how many times does 7 go into 13? Well, you see, the second multiple of 7, the 14, is bigger than 13. So 7 only goes into 13 once. So you put a 1 here, and 1 times 7 would be 7. And then we subtract. 13 minus 7 is 6. So the remainder is 6. So 573 divided by 7 is 81 with a remainder of 6. In all the divisions, you'll always find that the remainder is smaller than the divisor. Same up here. See, the 0 is smaller than 4. The remainder of 2 is smaller than 6. Uh, if you ever found that the remainder was bigger than this, then, then you should have had a, a large number here because uh, you've got too small a multiple here that you're subtracting from that number. Uh, last example, number four here. So we're dividing 2,091 by 5. So first divide 5 into 2, and again, 2 is smaller than 5. So uh, two does not, 5 does not go into 2 even once. So uh, now we include the 0. So we're actually dividing 5 into 20. So we need to write the first few multiples of 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20. See, 20 is actually the fourth multiple. 1, 2, 3, 4, the fourth multiple of 5. So we'll put a 4 up here, and 4 times 5 is 20. And so we subtract. 20 minus 20 is 0, and we bring the 9 down. So how many times does 5 go into 9? Well, uh, it only goes in once because you see uh, the second multiple of 5, the 10, is a little bit bigger than 9. It's one bigger. So it, uh, 5 only goes into 9 once, so 1 times 5 is 5. Uh, 9 minus 5 is 4, and we bring down this 1. And uh, so now we're figuring out how many times does 5 go into 41. Uh, so refer back to your multiplication tables or write a few more multiples of 5 here. So after the 20, we go 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, etc. So there is the number we need. See, 5 goes into 41. Well, that, that is just a little bit smaller, that multiple of, uh, of 5 than 41. So let's see, what, which multiple is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See, 5 times 8 is 40. So we'll put an 8 up here, and 8 times 5 is 40, and we'll subtract, and 41 minus 40 is 1. And so the remainder would be 1. So that's how you divide uh, with single digit numbers. I am going to make a, another video uh, with dividing by a two digit number. You can actually go as large as you want, but if you know how to do divisors with one digit and two digit, then you could extend that to, uh, to any size actually. And so that's the end of the tutorial.